Hi, uh, welcome to this video on fundamental law of active management. I am Vivek Sharma, and in this video, I am going to take you through this particular law developed by Richard Grenald and Ronald Kahn. Before understanding fundamental law of active management, uh, it's important for us to understand some of the concepts around portfolio management strategies, especially the equity portfolio management strategy. So as far as equity portfolio management strategy strategies are concerned, there are broadly two uh, types of uh, portfolio management strategies. One is the active uh, approach and the second is the passive one. Under active uh, portfolio management strategy, the fund manager tries to outperform the index uh, by uh, taking certain steps. Uh, and these steps may be related to timing the market, buying and selling the stock, within the portfolio at appropriate time also ensuring that there is a there is a sectoral ro rotation of the stocks and the fund manager picks up those stocks which are uh, doing better or the sectors which are doing better uh, as far as the passive investment uh, strategy is concerned this is more like buying and holding the investments for longer period of time to reap benefits of it uh, uh, Passive portfolio management strategy could also be about mimicking a uh, particular index and following that index. Um, <clears throat> here in this video, we are going to cover uh, the active portfolio management strategy and a concept around that, which is called as fundamental law of active management. What is this law? Let us understand this law. So this law, as I mentioned earlier, uh, <clears throat> was uh, proposed by Richard Grenald and Ronald Kahn. And uh, they have basically predicted productivity of a manager, okay, based on two variables, skill and breadth. So we need to understand basically these two aspects. And the formula that they have given is uh, as follows, as far as this fundamental law is concerned, IR or information ratio is equal to IC, which is information coefficient multiplied by square root of breadth. So information coefficient, if you see, uh, basically uh, is a relationship between two variables as we can see or rather a correlation between two variables which is uh, managers expected and actual return so you know basically it highlights this particular aspect uh, now moving further uh, you know as far as the breadth is concerned breadth is about how many times such a skill was used in portfolio in terms of number of independent sets okay so so basically using these two uh, parameters uh, this particular law um, uh, tries to give an information ratio uh, an information ratio is nothing but the added value for every unit of risks uh, added in the portfolio so this is what it uh, denotes so, uh, but going ahead we will also look at what is the meaning of information coefficient and how how does it uh, get calculated so information coefficient is calculated through a formula uh, which can be defined as a 2 into right prediction upon total prediction minus 1. So basically here uh, using information coefficient we can uh, find out how uh, if effectively or how rightly or how perfectly the manager predicts the future outcome. So if, if assume that a uh, fund manager does uh, 100 prediction right out of total 100 prediction. So using the formula as you can see 100 upon 100 is 1. Uh, we multiply 2 into 1 which is 1 minus 1 and it will be 1. So we can, can be on three extremes. Oh, sorry we can be on two extremes of uh, information coefficient. First could be it is positive 1. Second could be it, it could be negative 1 as well. So if information coefficient is plus 1, it indicates that the manager perfectly predicts the future outcome. If it is minus 1, then manager fails to make a correct prediction. But what if it is neither plus 1 nor minus 1 and say it is something like a 0, then it indicates that manager has 50-50 chance of going right or wrong, which is no better than flipping a coin. So using information coefficient, we are basically evaluating ability of a manager to predict things correctly. The second component of the formula is understanding the breadth and uh, what is breadth exactly if we have to understand it. Breadth means number of time the manager has put his skill to work. So you know uh, every manager will like to uh, you know uh, explore and see opportunities which within the market 
uh, we'll try to work on that okay so breadth is uh, defined as number of forecast per period multiplied by number of periods for the time horizon in consideration so how many forecasts are being made by the fund manager and what is the time horizon so if manager makes uh, 15 uh, or covers 15 industry segments and give forecast about them then in a year the breadth would be four quarters into 15 which will be 60 but we have to be very careful with the fact that information set has to be independent uh, there should not be uh, you know a same information set like in this case if a manager makes two forecasts with two technology that two technology stocks will outperform because technology sector will outperform it will be considered to be only one bet so this has to be independent these sets have to be independent while we are trying to understand the breadth so going back to the original formula information ratio is equal to information coefficient multiplied by square root of breadth we will be able to find out what kind of value the fund manager is adding this was briefly about this particular concept uh, which is fundamental law of active management i hope this has helped you but in case you have any query or questions you can write to me on healthofmywealth at gmail.com do not forget to like the video as well as to like my uh, channel thank you so much for watching this hope to see you in the next video shortly